Hi, it's Joanne with Rustic Glitter and we are back with another tutorial. This was our August DIY home decor subscription box. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I created this look. But first, make sure to subscribe below so you can get an update every time we release a new video. Okay, let's get started. In your box, you will find most of the supplies that you will need to complete this project. In this step, we are going to paint the small house and the two lemons with the yellow paint. This paint is chalk paint, so you want to make sure to mix it really good. If it seems a little dry, you can add a few drops of water, but not too much. I did two coats, front and back, and on the sides. Once the pieces are completely dry, go ahead and do a light sand on all sides. In this step, we are going to paint the large house and the rectangle sign with the white paint. I did two coats front, back, and sides on the house, and on the sign, I painted the front and the sides two coats. Once the pieces are dry, go ahead and sand them. Next, I painted the candle base with the black paint as well as the feet for the candle base. I did two coats front back and sides. In the instructions, I talk about two techniques to paint the feet. In this technique, I poured a little bit of paint into a cup I would suggest adding a tiny drop of water just to help coat the feet a little bit better. The other technique that I mentioned in the instructions is you can pour some of the paint into the Ziploc bag that the feet came in and roll it around and then pour it out onto a paper plate and let them dry. Next, grab the rectangle sign that you painted white and make sure that it is sanded down smooth so that your paint does not bleed when you're painting your stencil. Grab the Home Sweet Home stencil and you are going to peel the back paper labeled number one very slowly. Line it up on the rectangle sign and then rub it down with your finger or the squeegee card that was included in your box. Then carefully remove the transfer tape label number two by rolling it back very slowly. For this step, I use the white paint, the same color that I painted the sign, and I'm going to paint over the stencil. I did two coats. 
After the feet have dried, I gave them a light sand and painted a second coat. Once the base coat over the stencil dried, I went back and painted two thin coats of black. Next, I grabbed the large house that I had painted white and sanded it down smooth. For this next step, be very patient and take your time. When removing the back paper off of the house stencil, go very slow and take your time. Then align your stencil to the house very carefully. Smooth the stencil down using your hand with firm pressure or the squeegee card that was included in your kit. When removing the transfer tape, take this step very slowly. This process took me probably about five minutes you're going to want to make sure every single little piece is attached to the house so just take your time and go slowly back paper that was labeled number one and laid it over the stencil to smooth it down again. Then I grabbed the white paint, the same color that I painted the house, and I painted over my stencil. I did this two times. Next, it's time to remove the stencil off of the sign. Carefully peel it back. You can lift it up using the toothpick and do this very slowly. Using the toothpick, you're going to remove the extra pieces in the letters. Do not stab the wood. You're carefully going to lift up the little pieces. Once the base coat over my stencil on the big house was dry, I came back with the black paint and did two thin coats over it. I did a dabbing technique and then lightly brushed it out. Do not push too hard as you'll push the paint underneath the stencil. Using a toothpick or the large skewer, you're going to remove the stencil very slowly, taking your time.
patch up the sides with paint if you got any of the black paint on the sides. Next, you're going to grab your finished Home Sweet Home sign and we're going to attach it to the yellow house. Brush on some of the wood glue on the back and position it on the house lightly so that you can adjust it. Then push down and set it aside and let it dry. Then we're going to attach the feet to the candle base. I dipped the flat part of the feet in the glue and brushed it on. I placed the feet on the bottom in a triangle shape. To finalize my look, I added the jute rope and the greenery to my buffalo plaid house. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please share your finished project with us by tagging us on Instagram at hashtag rustic glitter craft box and hashtag rustic glitter. Thank you. Um.